Hello everybody, welcome to episode 8 with me and my good friend Christos. <laughs> me, that's me. We're going to look at, I'm sorry there's no backdrop today either, so sorry about that. Blame the manager. Or Alid. Yeah. Blame anyway. Alid. Can we blame Alid? We're going to look at we 60s could. bands oh, right. and artists that have made an impact over the last 50 years or so. First one I've picked is this Buffalo Springfield album. Of course, this is a band set up with Neil Young. Stephen Stills, and it's a lovely rock album. They only lasted about two years, I think, didn't well, they? Three minutes. Two or three minutes. One of the same. But uh, nevertheless, a great band. And of course, Neil Young went on to keep releasing albums, and he's still doing the same. So that's that one. Sorry for the background. Yeah, second, you mean, yeah. second album is from The Zombies. Again, this is from 1968. Great guitar. A classic prog, psychedelic pop album fronted by Rod Argent and Colin Dunstone. So you know you're going to get good keyboard playing and great singing. Are you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Third choice is by a little-known artist during that period, Nick Drake. Now, he only released three albums, I think. Yeah, I think he? so. He's probably me more famous now. Didn't sell, now. didn't sell anything back in the 60s, early 70s. But thanks to TV programs that related to the 60s period, I'm talking about things like Heartbeat, they played a lot of this and subsequently sold a lot of albums. And this is a great folk rock album. Well worth a listen. Can we just keep going? Hi, everyone. So, bands that made an impact in the 60s and changed everything. There was Yes. I can hear Ali groaning already. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. Beginning of prog rock, great little album. And the yawn. And, and the yawn, yawn as well, yeah. We'll, we'll take care of him after. Will right. we? Then a symphonic style album by Moody Blues, total change of direction. Danny Lane had left and great bit, bit of mute time for them. Orchestral about, masterpiece. Yes, yes, yes. yes. A, about six albums, one after the other then. Lovely. Lovely. And then... Mr. Young. Leading on from Buffalo Springs. Correct, yeah. yes. Did he make this before? No, after. That's after, after, after yeah. yes. Yeah, that's after. And of course, before Crosby, Stills and Nash. And Young, obviously. Great album. Of well, its time. Well done. Did I do well? Oh, thank you. Here we are then. Well. We're going to pop. do something we don't understand. Pop. I'm not, a, not do we comfortable understand? with pop. No. Although I respect pop, I'm not comfortable with it. But I think... It does get people into music, yeah, though, doesn't it? Yeah, Apparently. I respect to it. Yeah, I get yeah. three, three albums here. Or three, well, two compilations and an album. Paul and Oates. Great songwriters. Nope. Some really good singles on here. Um, straddling 80s, 90s. Yes. And I can't... Can't argue with it. It's a great compilation. And they had Todd Rundgren involved in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Which you can't all, knock. All born in Philadelphia. The Philadelphia yeah. sound. Hall and Oates. Second one. Again, can't dispute this. is classic pop. Lots and lots of singles. This is what this is, isn't yes. it? Basically singles. It, it's of its time. You've heard them all. And They're if you haven't, great you tracks. Been... Uh, great pop. Third choice. Is from Scritti Politti. Yeah. Now, you probably argue this isn't mm. pop. They were an indie mm. band to start out. But this is a great pop album produced by Arif Martin, who did Shaka Khan and things like that. There's some great singles on here. And they were well. played in discos and yeah. um, clubs across the world. Would be's uh, absolute. And this is a powerful, powerful synth driven pop yes. album. Lovely. What do you think? Excellent. Thank you. Pop music. Hmm. Well, we've done some already. And we we, have, we have that, oh, yes. We struggle that I suppose you can say it gets younger people into the music. Some of them will last, some of them won't. But here's a few of my selection. First of all, Young Howard. His mum used to come in here. Used to work in Marks and Spencer's as well. My mum used to come in here as well. Oh, did your mother used you to come in here? You can imagine that. 
Anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. No, okay. Right, okay. But how would you? Great pop songs of their time. Mick Ronson. Like him or dislike him, he's a great pop producer and he's given people like Bruno Mars, etc., their sound that they, they have today and a lot of pop stuff. Lastly, ah, now then, the Beach Boys. Really synonymous with, with pop from the 60s. Yeah. Changed completely when they got to the 70s. Like us. But did we, what did we change into? <laughs> 1870s. Ah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they had a run of hits from California Girls, Surfing USA, and so on and so forth. Fun, fun, fun. From the surf stuff to the car stuff. That's a great Just collection. Just great right? collection of pop. Yeah, yeah. Of its time. Okay, what are we looking at now? New releases? Apparently so. Not, well, not many it's a re-release week, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's getting... More than a new release. Yeah, so we'll have a look at maybe a couple of the reissues. We Classic shall do that. Coloured vinyl version mm. of... This Only got a few of these. Metallica album. Always sells well. Red. Sure, this will. Yes. With that colour. So... Oh. Oh. I just thought something mm -hmm. we didn't have last week, mm -hmm. which we had in late. Right. Don't forget the Taylor Swift 1989 oh, in ta and Tangerine Vinyl with the extra track. Hold on, sir. I just, oh, okay, uh, I just remembered that. <laughs> now. Now. We've, got, we've got a couple of these left. Yes. Well spotted. Didn't come into late because of security or something, wasn't it? I see yeah. this gets a reissue. Mm -hmm. This must be 50 odd years old. Yeah. I do seem to I remember. think it's 50 on the front, isn't it? It says. Yeah. 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 David Crosby and, and Graham Nash. Nash on, yes. Yeah. That's a good live album. Yeah. 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 So good entertainment. This that. is probably his 50th reissue. Yeah. Year. <laughs> yeah, more than that. He's got one a week at the moment, hasn't yeah. he? And really? You better look at something new, I suppose. Yes. Well, it? this is new old. Yeah. It's Van Morrison's latest offering. But surprisingly, it's all covers. Um, now, different for him. It's a bit boogie boogie ish, if yeah, anything, yeah. isn't it? A bit of skiffle uh, and, and that. that. Yeah. Which is a surprise for him, but. Well, he keeps going. He keeps, keeps releasing. Yeah. So, so, so there you are, go. That's, that's this week's um, entertainment reissues and new releases. Yes, correct. So far. So far. There's still some more stuff to come in, I think. There's an Oasis, isn't there? And, and other the Beatles bit. single. And the course. Beatles single now and then, of course, but they aren't, uh, they're under security delivery, so yeah. we will get them to Friday. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. See you, See you next, next week. week.